One of the things that preppers talk about a lot is water and water storage. Unfortunately, something that people don't talk about often enough is how do you get the water out of that storage? This is a 55 gallon barrel that I got off Craigslist and this is a 35 gallon barrel that I got off Craigslist. The 35, I can pick up and move. It's not pleasant, but I can do it. Also, this one, the lid actually comes off so I could get in there and scoop out with a cup. This thing weighs a couple of hundred pounds completely full and it just has this one little opening on the top. So there's no way for me to get my hand in and dump the water out. So we're gonna have to use a pump of some kind. This is a fluid transfer pump from Harbor Freight and this is for non-potable water. This is not drinking water rated and I don't know the history of this barrel. So this is for flushing toilets and other miscellaneous. These are almost always on sale for like five or six dollars and actually work pretty well. I've used them a couple of times for uh, draining out a washing machine that broke. And there you go. Um, Certainly not real fast, but uh, very cheap and not a lot of moving parts. So uh, this is a good backup, 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 backup option. But uh, I don't want to stand here and do this all day long. So I made something else. In my favorite plastic ammo can, I stuffed a seven amp lead acid battery and a one gallon per minute uh, $20 water pump. These are drinking water pumps made for little RVs and it draws about three amps. So I'll get about two hours of runtime on my lead acid battery, which at that flow rate should be enough to empty this thing into my swimming pool. Now, a funny pro tip, when you buy this hosing, it's all curled up. And what I found was that when I put this end into the barrel, it curled up above the water. So easy hack as a little piece of PVC and feed your hose down into it to help keep it straight. Now I can let it run by itself and I'll just stand here all day long and pump it with my hand. So very simple, fairly inexpensive uh, backup way to, so it's a pretty simple, inexpensive way to transfer water between your containers. Uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and hit the notification. Thanks, we'll see you on the next one.